Hey guys, it's Kay. Today I want to look at some of my favourite apps on my Hisense TV. And these consist of music, streaming and gaming. So without further ado, let's get on with this. So the first thing you want to do to get to your apps on your Hisense TV is click on the home button and select apps. This will take you to all the apps you've already downloaded. From here we just select the app store to get new apps. Now when you first open the apps application, you'll see the following screen. Now on the left hand side, you can see you can filter these apps by category. These categories are movies, TV shows, sport, music, news, games, kids and lifestyle. Ok, now on to the first of my favourite apps and it's called Shoutcast. Shoutcast is most commonly used for creating or listening to internet audio broadcasts and it's used by most of the leading broadcasters. So you're bound to find most of your favourite radio stations broadcasting on it. So taking a quick look at the app, the first thing you'll see is that you have submenus and the first one being genres. So this provides you with different genres of music. As a quick example, let's try blues. Hmm, not so sure about the accuracy of the categories, but you get the idea. Ok, moving on. So we also get a saved option on the menu. This is where your favourite radio stations are saved. Next item on the menu is top and this is the top radio stations by listener numbers. A great little tip here is that you don't need the screen to be on, just have it on audio only. So the next item on the menu is history and this just lists all the radio stations you've been listening to in the past. And the final menu item is search. And yes, you've guessed it, it's basically searching for any radio station you want. Let's say I feel like some reggae music, so let's do a quick search for reggae. And we don't even have to type it in fully. Ok, so I like the sound of the third one down, so here goes. Ok, so you get the gist of it. Now, this next app is called Simple Smart IPTV. So, IPTV stands for Internet Protocol Television. You can think of IPTV as cable television on steroids through the internet, but for a fraction of the cost. After selecting the app on the app screen, you'll be presented with the following screen. Now these are all your free to view channels on your IPTV, and they come pre-installed on the app. As you can see, there's a fair selection. Now you can add more, and I've covered this in a separate video, which I'll link at the top now, and in the description below. Navigation is straightforward, you just select your channel and click on it. Now another nifty little feature is that you can actually channel navigate while you're watching a program. As you can see a side channel listing pops up and you just scroll away. Now there's a couple of more options you can use on screen. You can change the aspect ratio and you can add the channel to your favourites and remove it from your favourites. Now as mentioned earlier you can add extra channels under the cog menu. You just need to input the details here and as I mentioned earlier I've left a link in the description below of how to do this in a separate video. Ok, now moving on to my next app. Now this app's called Deezer. Deezer is one of the oldest music streaming services with over 10 years of service. Now you'll have to create an account but you can use their free service. The app's interface is friendly, speedy and intuitive. And like most music streaming services, the layout is quite similar. The Mixes submenu lets you hear the best recommended and new music from the editors. And the My Music submenu lets you access your personal music library and hear all your saved playlists and favourites. Now this next app is a game, and I was pretty surprised to find it on the Hisense TV app. Yes, love it or hate it, it's chess. Now you can't knock this game because you can actually change the difficulty level, so literally anyone can enjoy the game of chess, and in my books you can't beat a classic. Now in fact, I did lose this game as you'll see, but that didn't take any enjoyment out of the game. Now, pressing the yellow button on your remote will take you out to a little game centre, where you'll find quite a few other good little games. Out of those games, I went on to play the Bubble Defender game, which is actually quite addictive. And I'm sure you all know how to play this by now. Ok guys, if you made it this far, we're on to our last but by no means least app. And this one's called Radio Line. And I suppose the name gives it away, yes, it's another internet radio app. Now this one has a slicker interface than the Shoutcast app we looked at earlier in the video. It's got four main categories, music, news, sports and children. So, taking a quick look at the news category, you can see we've got a load of news channels from all over the world. So, like most streaming apps, we've got a search function, we've got a favourites function. Now, this is a bit unique, we've got a music on air function. This actually gives you a snapshot of the artist and album or single playing at this current moment on the radio station. The next item on the menu gives you a list of the radio stations. Now, this is a favourite feature of mine, it's the podcast feature. As you can see, there's quite a wide range of categories for the podcasts. You've got art and culture, humour, business, sport, hobbies and gaming. And more, religion, health, science, technology, family, education and music. 
And if you can't find what you're looking for, you can even search for your favorite podcast. Uh, today's podcast is being recorded in the basement of 368. Okay guys, that's the end of this video. Now if you found this video helpful, please give us a like and please do consider subscribing.